everyone, welcome to another My Little Podcast. We are your hosts. I am Bree. I'm here with my mother, Shelly. Hello. <laughs> my father, Gary. Hello. And my husband, Jared. Hello. Today, we're going to be ch- chatting to you about the most recent Watery Weekly Peak. Watery Weekly. But before we get into that, a quick word from our sponsor, the My Little Homestead T-Shirt Shop. If you'd like to get a fun, quirky, interesting, colorful design on a T-shirt, sweatshirt, handbag, or many numerous products, stickers as well, um, you will find the link down there in the description if you've been around. I'm sure you know it, but you know, it's a fun little reminder. We've got, uh, mom has got her bottle light, and uh, if you've been with us for a while or seen the full version of the kitchen build, that is where that comes from. Mm -hmm. Dad's got Skitter Done, which is definitely a My Little Homestead favorite around here. I have the Frogtastic, which comes from our outdoor shower. We made little little bins. Oh, yeah. We don't sell the coasters, but those are, that's an example of our stickers. And then uh, Jared has... Taking advantage of sustainable pellets. You can tell what shirt is Jared's favorite. Anyway, (laughs) uh, if you you would like to get one, the link will be down there in the description. (laughs) Mom and Dad have gathered here a bunch of your questions and suggestions and comments and all kinds of fun stuff. Oh, yeah. So we have two videos that we're commenting on today. We're looking at the, the last podcast, which was about the drill rig. Mm-hmm. So we have a question for that. And then we have several questions for our last little trip we made. So okay. Exciting. Die Wonder Mom. Silly question. What's the point of having a truck rig? Is it going to help you do a job of some sort? Well, there's that pond that it'd be wonderful to have an extra well Ooh. to supply uh, yeah. and other water projects around yeah waiting to drill that well before we do the pond or slash natural swimming pool is mm-hmm. what we're kind of calling it too and bryson keeps digging that out while we're doing the shop so it's so, getting yeah. so it'll the, be in good shape and ready yeah. to fill with water yeah yep. so the well drilling rig will absolutely be functioning as a, doing a job it's going to be drilling some more wells we're pretty excited yeah, yeah, and Garen and Ellie also have a well that it does produce water, but it's not as much as they'd like to have out of that, too. So um, that's another one who's been eyeballing it, as, as Garen saying, <laughs> Hey, brother, are you going to come out? And <laughs> uh, <laughs> wink. Yeah. Uh, Marzi Rust. Marzi, what a cool name, isn't it? M-A- M-A-R-Z-I. Marzi Rust. That's nice. So uh, have I missed something? Who are the parents of the older grandkids? Our grandkids would be Jocelyn's kids. Jocelyn's my daughter. And so Jocelyn and Eddie have been a part of videos in the past and stuff. So that's their two girls, and that would be our grandkids. I guess does that help explain that? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, for sure, our half sister Jocelyn, Jocelyn, and right? her husband, and then their two kids. Yeah. Yes. So, very exciting. They pop in and out every so often. I think there was a podcast a while back where they were sitting behind the camera, and you could hear their chuckles throughout the throughout the podcast. <laughs> is them so they they've been in and out as yeah. they as we visit them and stuff. They visit us. Well, on our trip, we of course Oregon City is just famous for all kinds of different things. Fresh Starts here mentions uh, you totally should have done the elevator. <laughs> uh, we did drive by it from the bottom of it. I okay, guess, so but... for for the class, what is the elevator story? The elevator <laughs> is um, there's the old Oregon City. And then Oregon City is built up on a hill, too, and we have a lot of the new stuff that was built uh, in the area up on the hill. The elevator actually moves you from the lower part of Oregon City to the higher part, and it's a very tall elevator. Um, We had a lot of fun with that as a kid because you can ride it up and down. Fuzzy Electron mentions here, uh, LOL, I hadn't thought of of it until you mentioned it. Truck inner tubes? Tubeless tires have a lot to answer for. <laughs> uh, of course, you and I had mentioned you had mentioned the truck tires and inner tubes that we used to float on up and down the rivers and out the lakes and things like that. And we all that's all we had in those days. Yeah. And we we'd all grab our tubes, stop by a gas station, get them filled up. Oh yeah, right. And so we'd have this great big old tube sticking out of a trunk or <laughs> inside a car, or strapped on top. And, and if someone got a really big one, it yeah. was like, oh, oh that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we used to, now we used to do that when we were little. We would go up to the mechanic. Remember oh. we went? I think it was Slide Rock Park, which we actually did a little oh. something on that, which is. Uh, what was it the 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 Penley Homestead? The, yeah, the Penley Homestead Slide Rock Park up there in Arizona. Yeah, yeah. Oh. and up in um, Sedona, Sedona, Arizona. Yeah, and uh, that's what we did. We first went. They gave us at the, our mechanic, local mechanic. He gave us those inner tubes. We were so excited. Cool. Oh, <laughs> it's like, oh okay. One more thing here, Fuzzy Electron mentions says, "Does anyone in the family douse, or has the homestead been doused?" Uh, for the water well. Gotcha. Yeah, that's what Doused. dousing is. Okay. Yeah, I was doused time. once with you throwing water on me, but uh, <laughs> but no, dousing. Do you want to explain dousing? Basically, you have some 
I don't know if it's random wire or if it's specific wire that you hold in your hands. You have tubes so you don't clamp it and like make it go where you want it. So they're kind of just floating in your hands. If you think about it really hard that you want to find water and you just wander the property, the two lines cross on their own, water will be there. And it's like 90% success rate uh, for guys that do that for yeah. water. Well, I have, I have dr- seen different systems. We've seen the two wires, right? Mm-hmm. And then I've seen like a, a U stick, which is um, made out of U wood. It's like a, a Y and, and you have to hold it a certain way so that it'll spin in the axis between your hands. It'll point and then when you finally find water, it dips down. <laughs> So that's another one. I, uh, there's one. There's an. Uh, of course, there's an app for it. <laughs> you can actually download an app for dowsing. The one that we always did was well, we'd take two pieces of baling wire and then we'd loosely hold it in our hands and it would cross when you went over water. We like we went over water where we knew there was water and it would cross and we we're like, whoa! I think there might be something to it. You know, it, when you start thinking about the frequency now that we're all kind of getting introduced to now of different things with frequency, maybe there is some sort of frequency of water that. That does create something in those sticks. Maybe there's something more to it than just... Something. There's got to be, because it's, it's, it's accurate. And yes, our well, back in the 60s, well, I've only, I've not known it as dowsing. That's a great term, because I've only ever known it as witching a well. I like dowsing a little bit better, but <laughs> back in the 60s, I believe it was the 60s, ours was done that way. So We were told, anyway. We, we were told. Well, yeah, yeah. You were, obviously, I wasn't alive yet, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> we were, we well, were, there is that detail. A little minor detail. <laughs> okay, Rosie Reed says that, um, remember that, yeah, the, I thought we thought was a muscle that she picked up. Um, Rosie Reed says that was a razor clam. Oh. Yeah. I also heard gooey duck was yeah, another gooey one. Duck, oh, yeah, yeah I've heard gooey, duck, ducks. gooey ducks, I've razor heard. clams. Yeah. Uh, do you eat them or do we know No, you about? pick them up and shave with them. <laughs> but, you know, legs and stuff, you know, for the legs. It's I, I think I remember my... Uh, my sister sent my mom a video of uh, her girls like finding those uh, because they live in they live in um, uh, Seattle up there so uh, like just going there and finding them and it's like okay and, like you you hear about them talking about gooey ducks and you look them up it's like oh my gosh those things kind of look freaky <laughs> <laughs> like when they're out of their shell it's like <laughs> it's like ah <laughs> that's what it reminds you of a little tongue sticking out sushi mm-hmm. um Kevin Finkel asks, have you guys experimented with desert air water harvesting, a.k.a. moisture farming? Uh, I think Bryson's done a little bit of experimenting, mm-hmm. but I think where we're at is just, I don't know how much moisture is in the air for us to really get without like having like this massive setup that would take up like two acres of our property to make work. So I don't know. I don't know if. I don't yeah, know what in, in Florida it'd be easy. That. The humidity is so high. Well, and probably here, through the summer months, it'd probably be okay too. Mm-hmm. Summer yeah. months, yeah, summer really months, good. Yeah, yeah. it's so, even humid now. So. And Bryson yeah. has experimented with various little things in, 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 on a small scale. Yeah, so everything that might be like something in our future. So thank you, Kevin. Yeah, yeah. We'll, that is. We'll definitely that's, keep it in mind. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's, it's definitely of interest to us. Mm-hmm. Okay, Sandra Colson said, I enjoy seeing the view of the Westland Mill from the river. I worked as a temp in their payroll office a couple of different times around 89 to 90. Back then, it was a busy place, and there was always big green warehouse-like barges loaded with monstrous rolls of paper going down the locks. There used to be a fish ladder at the top of the falls at the mill. I got to see the grate that covered it once and heard tales of the occasional salmon that might or might not have been pulled out of it. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. So, yeah. Oh, That's that's cool, Sandra. Thank you for sharing your memory. How fun is that? Mm -hmm. And then, of course... You know, we went down to the desert and had, and you guys joined us for that. And prescribed burn says, salsa and chip went for a dip. <laughs> <laughs> they did. Oh my goodness. Well, you know, dogs usually they, they float. You know, dog panels. Yeah, they go the in. Their head stays out. Yeah, they're very delicate creatures yes. in the water. You know. And so Chip, he's doing his thing, his normal dog thing. Well, he's salsa see- wants to join. Yeah. And do- salsa takes a leap of faith, and she just goes under. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> she, there was no head. Her head was up. like an anchor. It just, <laughs> it just went down. down. Yeah. And then I thought, oh, surely it's coming up. Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she's ever like swam in like deep, water. like water deep enough 
Like, I don't think she's out, she's ever swam before. No, I so. mean, all the water she's been in, I think, has had something that she could stand up on. I don't yeah. think she was aware that water didn't always have a bottom. <laughs> that was new. Well, it had a bottom. <laughs> yeah, just so she couldn't reach it. <laughs> she so, might have. We still, don't know. She's yeah. down there a while. <laughs> <laughs> no, she wasn't. You saw the clip. We saved her. <laughs> that was shocking. She was a little over the water at that point. Yeah, she was. Yeah. We got her back. We got her back in just to make sure she didn't yeah. get too freaked out of it and remain freaked out about it. But yeah, she yeah. conquered it at the end. But yeah, yeah, she's a fun dog. She is. Ann Watrous says, Shelly, how did you and Gary meet? Aw, do we get the little origin story? Do you want an origin story? Do, you well, tell do we you even remember 30 it? years ago? That's a long time for us. Gary. I remember. I'm the romantic in this one here. <laughs> um, can we tell it? Yeah, you better tell it. Okay. <laughs> Which version do you want? The enhanced one or just the truth? <laughs> just the uh, short. The, the short. Reader's short. Digest version. Short and sweet. I'm at a going away party for a friend. They're heading off overseas for some fun stuff. And I'm there and there's lots of people I know and stuff. And, and another friend of mine uh, drives up with another person whose car it was. It was a red Daytona. I'd kind of been sitting at the kitchen area and can kind of look out the front of the house. And I saw the red car. And then I saw my friend get out, and then I saw you get out. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> you were the driver. And I thought, all oh, right. Hot blonde, red car, Daytona. <laughs> i got to meet this girl. <laughs> so um, uh, she comes in the front door, and there's a bunch of ho- hellos and highs. Uh, the house was arranged where I could get around the kitchen and come into the living room from another direction. And I see her come in, but then I slip around the other side wanting to talk with her. And, uh, and so we did. And we sat and we chatted and had fun and talked. And um, it was great. I thought, hey, we've got a little connection here. I instantly liked you when, um, when, we, when you started talking to me in the kitchen because uh, you were just so funny. And you, I instantly liked you. Um, then you left. And then I got wind from my friend that you had broken up. And it, that was six months. Then I, I gave you a call. And I got a date. I got two calls, two phone calls for dates, and they're both from. I got both have the name Gary, so I had Gary number one and Gary number two. And um, anyway, you were Gary number two. <laughs> <laughs> Second choice, but that's okay. <laughs> but yeah, Gary number one was no. And so, yeah, Gary number two got number one. <laughs> yeah, I moved up in the world. <laughs> so thank you so much for being a part of our conversation, watching our videos, participating. We love hearing from you. We want to give a special thank you as well to our Patreon supporters. Thank you for your financial support. If you're interested in giving a buck or two a month, um, we really, all that is very helpful around here. So the link to that will be down in the description. Uh, we look forward, uh, Jared and I, We've been tufted in rugs all week, mm-hmm. and Jared has also been uh, building a desk. So we've, we got a lot of stuff coming your way. Um, for was, it, Friday. was it tough tufted in those rugs? It was a yes. bit tough. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> tufted and snip. Uh, that's been the thing. Tufted oh. and snip. Anyway, you'll understand when you see it. But uh, we really appreciate you. We look forward to hanging out with you on Friday for another weekly peak episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.